So you can see this is this is nice for debugging. It's a pretty accurate um, and a pretty instant distance measure. Hi guys, Anton here from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. Here's a quick tutorial to show two digit numbers on this 5x5 display, which is quite a feat because um, usually uh, you need the whole 5x5 uh, to show just one number and I found a little trick to show uh, two numbers. This tutorial will be um, with the word blocks or a scratch and on Spike Prime. Let's get to it. We are going to use Spike Prime for the word block part because um, this is something while uh, Spike Prime is very uh, similar to uh, Robot Inventor, this is something that is just not possible on Robot Inventor. Somehow there is a button missing in that interface. Okay, first I'm going to connect the hub here via Bluetooth. Um, while I'm uh, connecting here is a good moment to subscribe. That would make me very happy. I put a lot of <laughs> effort and time in these uh, tutorial videos because I hope to inspire people. And uh, your uh, subscribing um, really helps me and motivates me. Okay, here we are connected um, with the hub. So um, the hub is over there on my table and um, Bluetooth is connected. And we have created a new program where we can see the motors and the hub being connected with a little green a dot here. Now, in order to show uh, two digit numbers on the uh, matrix display, we're going to use a little trick here. And um, the trick is uh, with the fact that if you have a light um, uh, block here that normally only turns on these pixels, you can also use some kind of text string to turn on um, lights here. So we could, uh, I can show this by creating a var variable. So um, I'm going to uh, create it and call it um, image, okay? And I'm going to set the image to a specific kind of string. And um, it's, uh, 25 numbers with semicolons in between. So this 0909, those, this, this means off brightest, off brightest, off brightest. That's the top row. And then we're going to make the row below that 09090. That's the exact same. So those will be two eyes. And then we are going to make a row of five, um, uh, five. <laughs> Uh, pixels that are empty. Um, oh, let me zoom in here a bit because probably hard to read on uh, the YouTube video. So those are five empty pixels. Then we are going to make the corners of the mouth zero. So that's nine zero 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 nine. And then we are going to make the bottom of the mouth, which is off, uh, on, 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 and off. So this is a written code that shows me a smiling image uh, and I can put this uh, string here into the light block and this will show me a smiley. Let's uh, see if that works. Run it in the program and switch over to the model and you can see there is the smiley face. Okay, stop, the stop it again. So run it again so you can see the program just starts and starts showing uh, the smiley face here. And this is a different way of um, connecting to the, to the display and you can write just numbers. So in this way, we are going to create uh, two digit numbers, uh, but we are going to do this um, a bit different uh, than I could create for every pair of numbers, I could type this, but I have actually generated that. So the way we are going to do this is create a different type of variable, and that's a list variable. Let's call it numbers. And these numbers will create, will contain uh, more of these uh, images. 
So here you see I have created a list with the make a list button and called it numbers. And then it appears in here and also in the tray to the right. That's where your variables and your lists are. And the cool thing about the spike version of the app is that it has these three dots in here where you can import a list. And these three dots sadly are missing in the um, Mindstorms robot inventor software. So this is only for the spike prime people. Now we are going to import these images into this list, but first we need to download them. So you can go over to my uh, website and there is this article about how to display two digit numbers. Um, at the moment, it's uh, the main article on the homepage. If it's not there, you can click here, Spike Prime Tutorials and go over to displaying two digit numbers. Um, there is um, a bit of context here. And um, if you scroll a bit down, there is a download where you can download the numbers.txt. Let's download it. So I downloaded it here. It's in my downloads now. On Mac, I can um, switch over to uh, here and I can import this and it will appear in my downloads. So here it is, numbers.txt. And this instantly imports all numbers between 0 and 99 as images. So I generated them before in Python and now they're available to you for use in your programs. Um, and let's see how that works. So we can now um, maybe use a timer. So let's uh, repeat forever that we turn on an image and use time here and use, of course, the variable. So let's find an item. Let's so find an item in this new list and which item will make that depend on the timer. So if the timer starts and seconds elapse, um, this will start showing the numbers. Probably should reset the timer before starting the programs. So let's have a look at uh, what this uh, program does. Uh, okay, program starting now is again a good moment to subscribe. Um, I really appreciate it. It really motivates me to make more videos. Uh, and you can see the numbers are counting up. This isn't very spectacular, but here is the magic. Um, you can see that um, I created these images with two digit numbers by making a narrower number for the tens and um, using a tint that is slightly lighter so you can still see the difference here. And this uh, list of numbers is really flexible. So you can, uh, now I input a timer, but you could also maybe show the distance of a distance sensor. So let's uh, try this, stop the program here. And um, uh, connect a distance sensor. Mm. Does this make sense? Yes. Let's put that into port C. Keep the cable out of the way. Okay. Uh, distance sensor connected. Let's go back to the Spike Prime software here. And you see that the distance sensor sees 18 centimeter. So instead of the timer, we can remove all this, keep the forever loop, but we put the distance in centimeter and use that to look up an item of numbers. So this will give us a live display of the distance. Let's try this, switch over to the model. Okay, so apparently our volunteers are 32 centimeters away. 22, 12, 10. So you can see this is this is nice for debugging. It's a pretty accurate um, and pretty instant distance measure. We can 
I can even show this like this. So this one, um, it, the ultrasonic sensor reads the distance to this block very well because it's solid, it's flat, and it reflects the sound of the sensor really well. So here, in this case, it's really, 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 really accurate. Extremely accurate and fast. That's it for uh, this tutorial. I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed it, learned something new, and um, you can easily use it in your uh, Scratch programs. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to uh, subscribe and uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.